Hello lovely friends, thank you so much for being here today for this infinity piece. This fluid art piece came together really easily, very surprisingly, once I got the idea together. And the idea of infinity is connection and love. And we are all so connected wherever we are in the world and I get filled with wonder about that every day. So come and join me today and see how I put this painting together. This ends up being a, a piece I gave for a charity event. Um, it was the second piece I did and it was supposed to be a backup piece and it ended up being the better piece so I gave it instead and I had no idea and I think sometimes when you give yourself less pressure on something it ends up being better doesn't it don't you think so I was just painting away happily and I thought today I would paint the sides first to get that nice coverage when you've got a white canvas and you've got a darker paint it's so much easier if you're going to have that colour going down the sides just to paint it first especially in the corners where you get the little cracks so use the paintbrush just to have a nice coverage using the same paint. So in this case, it's Amsterdam Oxide back Black. So you paint all the sides and then I just paint inwards just by an inch just to get that nice even coverage. Now this charity event that I did um, was for our choir. We uh, are a community choir, so we like to sing, but we can't necessarily sing. <laughs> but we have a lovely time together and we go and uh, raise money wherever we can by singing and um, just really enjoy doing it. So this one came up, a friend of mine in the choir said, why don't you do a painting? And I thought, oh, infinity, because everyone's connected. And it was for um, raising money for an ambulance for Ukraine. Some of you might remember that from a few months back. And this is the piece that I haven't revealed yet. And it's the final piece that actually went um, and I was selling tickets at the back of the cathedral on the night of the concert um, and the week before because it was just a last minute idea and we raised a nice amount of money for the charity event so I was really chuffed about that and I was so pleased to meet the person as well that was going to have the painting um, and thank you so much to everybody who bought tickets um, and out of that, I've made some lovely friends and connections. So that was really lovely. So I'd love to know what you think about infinity. For me, it means connection um, and it means forever. And if you think about that mathematical symbol, infinity symbol is fascinating, isn't it? So it's just lovely to have an opportunity to, to give back. And um, when I was painting, I just felt that real symbolic feeling of you know, the fact that in mathematics, it's that endless continuation. Um, it's quite mind bending, isn't it? And awe inspiring in many ways. And for me, it means the eternal love and interconnectedness and the whole cycle of life in nature. Um, and there's just the idea there's no end or no beginning. So it just gives you that feeling of potential and growth. And there's just no limitation. So I started getting really carried away, as you can tell, with the idea. And for me, when I use this black base, it's such a luxurious colour and it brings out the shimmers and it highlights things so well. I couldn't think of another colour. I know sometimes people say, you're using a, lot, a black base an awful lot, but it does really bring colours out, especially contrasting colours like golds and iridescent blues and, and colours like that. So... Um, I just felt a lot of compassion towards this particular event and you know when you when you think about people in need there are people in need everywhere so when opportunities come your way um, and they seem to quite often you know it's nice to be able to to give back in different ways you know um, so it was a journey for me into the boundless realm of infinity and the black base just provided a bit of a stage really for this dance of different golden shimmering colours. So I hope you enjoy the blue being added here now. This iridescent blue, as you probably know by now, is one of my favourite colours and the deco art. So by weaving the colours in and out of each other, I'm beginning to form the structure 
for the infinity symbol. Now the deco art, art splendid gold colour I'm going to be less generous with because I would like to have it highlighting the piece but I don't want it to be too bossy and it's a lovely colour because it doesn't take over it does exactly that but it also gives a sense of an aura so I'm just going around now and I love my spin table because I can no matter how big the piece is I can manoeuvre it and access different parts of the canvas so if you don't have a spinner it's a really useful tool to have when I was in my kitchen for the first year and a bit um, I used a really cheap plastic one um, which was really rigid but it still did the job but now I've got this one which is a cake um, cake stand turner and it works really well so you can see me using the palette knife which is dipped in the cell activator and I am putting a little bit down and I'm also using the palette knife to skim the surface of the paints so I'm not doing a big swipe all the way through it I'm constantly dipping it in the cell activator um, it's only a, it's only literally Amsterdam paint and water today in the cell activator I haven't got any any other cell activation um, ingredients because I don't want a lot of cells I just want a tiny um, tiny cell effect in part um, which tends to be what I like as a general role, rule I do love cells but um, I think there are certain pieces for me that I love cells and, and but most of the paintings I just like one or two so when you use just Amsterdam paint which is a natural cell activator in water it gives you a few nice cells so in fact I was going to mention Venom Fluid Art it's got the lovely video I saw recently on cell activation uh, between uh, paint and water Aussie flow troll and um, Elmer's glue so it might be quite nice to have a look at what he's doing there Darren from Venom Art so go and check their channel out they've got some wonderful tutorials um, I mean I know lots of artists have but I do love Venom Fluid Art and they're lovely friends as well so this acrylic pour today on the black base um, I can begin to see what's happening with the aura and I can see the paints and the the effect that the cell activation has had so I'm going to spin it out now and just allow it to expand and keep using the palette knife to create the definition in the infinity can you see that I'm, I'm encouraging the purple through it. it's a gorgeous color um, and I would like the, the purple to have more of a presence because um, the iridescent blue is a more dominant color that's the thing when you work with opaque paints and uh, transparent paints um, you know, you've got to work out which color you want to be more dominant so in this case the um, blue and the gold were there really as a hint and a nod to the Ukraine and the purple and the blue were the colors of the choir singing um, we had there are other people singing there's some amazing voices there that night but are the two choirs locally in Cornwall um, that I'm involved with the colors of the uniform are purple and blue and and it was a, a nod to them as well I'll just leave you for a little while as I use my butterfly tool to bring up some patterns here I'm gonna have a little fun for a while and leave you with some music and I'll come back shortly
Taking way too long. I'm running out of time. If there was an option, would I let you in? Why did it have to end before it could begin? If there was a moment, would you admit? I wish I could tell. Finishing touches now and the infinity symbol has formed and this is this is the end of the of the video where I'm just doing the finishing touches with the butterfly and the palette knife. You can see the purple is a good presence here, but the blue is a more of a dominant colour and that's the that was the colour of the uniform of our choir. So just feeling really really happy with it today and hoping that at this stage that it dries nicely and it did in the end so really pleased about that so I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the colour and noticing that at the beginning I started off with quite a few loops and when you depending on the amount of paint that you put on the canvas the loops will spread and grow so I can imagine doing this on an even bigger canvas which I'm definitely going to do I think in the future so I just want to say thank you so much for being here and it means a huge amount to me. You really help me to make these videos with the ideas that you come up with, the, the colours that you suggest and just being here and supporting and knowing that I'm helping you to create something and encouraging you too. So here's the wet result. You can see the gentle patterning that the butterfly tour has made and the gentle cells and the overall colours and look at that deep edge canvas 
for me, fluid art looks so good on a deep edge canvas, although it's totally personal preference. Can you see the shimmer? So this shimmer is showing how it was when it was wet. And I varnished it with four or five coats of Liquitex gloss varnish mixed with 50% water. And it gives it such a lovely shine. So happy this has gone to a loving home and I can't wait to do the next one. So if you like what you see today, please do come back and see me again and like and subscribe and share with any friends that might be interested. And I hope to see you again. And importantly, happy painting, and happy creating. Thank you so much for being here. Take care now. See you soon, I hope. Bye.